Hey, yo. What's going on out there? I, I <laughs> kicked her ball for her, and now she wants to play with it. But when I wanted to play with her, to, or wanted her to play with her ball, she didn't want to. We're talking about our dog, by the way. Um. Also, welcome back to... <laughs> Don't Dem make cry. Three, right? Um. Is the third one? Yes. This is with Virgil. Yes, it's with his. And and his it's in the older. past. It's before the Devil May Cry series. This is the prequel to the requel to the sequel to Shrequel. Oh, I think I have to. Shmoney, money. Oh, Squidward. Squidward. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's Squilliam Fancy Son. What do you s I'm I Squinny. <laughs> I'm Squilliam Fancy Son. You know, Squilliam Fancy Son. Don't you know? They definitely had a history together. We'll give you that idea. We'll, I don't who know. would ever give you that idea? I, I mean, the. The, the, the undertone. Uh, <laughs> this is a. This is a Wendy, sir. <laughs> you need a lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we like to have a good time here. <laughs> Anyways, we are family. Oh my God, I, sh I, I just remembered something in elementary. There's this one girl and she used the We Family song and she taught it to me. And it was, it went to the tune of We Family. Our family, even if you're fatter than me. And looking back, she Wait, would what? say it to kids that were chubby and fat. And I thought it was like, oh, what a funny little goof. But now it's like, that is, that is not funny. funny. That is not funny. That is not, that is definitely great school funny. But reality, th that is very mean and unkind. Um, yeah, just a little bit. A lot of it. Anyway, I don't talk to her anymore, but she gave me something and I bit her once, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of worked out. No, I choked her. Um, I don't, uh, that's uh, a lot worse. That was during gym class and the teacher did not fucking catch me, so I uh -huh. didn't get suspended. <laughs> you should have, you really should have got suspended. I don't know where I'm going right now. I did threaten a kid once with a fork to shut up. Like to his throat? No, to his leg. And then he told on me. What is it? I'm just and then he did it in front of eh, the whole class. Did what? So like, Snitch you know girl. how in lunchtime, lunch era, they always say like lunch era. Lunch era, no lunchtime in elementary. Like you get a little too rowdy, you know. You go blah, 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 and it gets too loud. Yeah. And that was a problem apparently. And they said if you guys don't quiet down, you can't go to recess. Which know. looking back. I don't know if they can actually do that. Yeah, I mean, and, and there was one where, like, they turned off all the lights and they had everybody put their head on the table if they couldn't behave. Really? Yeah. And we had to have assigned seating, too. So they didn't want troublemakers to the other. You know, looking back to some of it, it was, uh... Man, th those rules didn't really teach anything. All I know is that some of these elementary teachers were not very nice. It was it was mostly the parents, though. That makes sense. And that makes more sense. They had turned off all the lights because we were too loud. And they're like, everyone be quiet. You're not going to have recess because you guys were too loud. And it's like, one, we're all around eight years old, <laughs> first of all. Two, we, what did you think was going to happen? We have, why would we have manners? We're eight-year-old children. Sure, we were like well behaved, but lunchtime and then recess was our wild time. Like, come on. So yeah, they had turned off all the lights and everyone had to put their heads down. And they said, nobody's going. Everyone has to be quiet. Well, that's how I get down. And the kid that was next to me wouldn't shut up. And so I threatened him with my fork. I was like, you wanna shut the fuck up? Like, I'm gonna stab you. And then he told on me. And everybody in the lunchroom. And then he said, like, she's threatening me with a fork, miss. Be quiet. And I'm like, dang. And I felt so embarrassed. 
And like I had to sit in this special seat where like only the bad kids, like you're all alone. It's like the shun seat. Like we're, you know, like in cartoons where you wear the dunce hat. No, I, I actually don't. Did you not have the special, like that special seat? Like the bad kid goes sit in that seat by themselves and can't look at anybody? No. N at all? In elementary? Never. You're lying. I'm 100% serious. You're lying. In no way you didn't have that special seating seat. Not that I know of. Or remember. Oh gosh, I hope they still don't have it. Why? I don't know. It's like the worst. It's like a punishment. Like your punishment is you don't get to see or talk to anybody. And you didn't. I mean, all it did is like this is your punishment for doing da da da. And I'm like, okay, I got that. I understood his shame. But as an adult, I'm able to reflect and say, okay, that's why I was sitting there. But as a little eight-year-old, I was like, what was wrong with what I did? Like, I don't like being here, but I don't know what was so wrong with what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because I, uh, what, I'm sorry, but like, I think some kids need help pointing out like what they did wrong. Not everyone's very introspective of themselves. I certainly like they wasn't. they know exactly what they did wrong. Yeah, like, if I had an adult say, so you're here because you threatened someone to stab with a fork and you know why that's bad, right? As an adult, now I'm like, yeah, it's fucking bad because um, I threatened a child. <laughs> My kid actually lived down the street too. From you? Yeah. Wow. I bet they never hung out with you after that. They certainly didn't. They really didn't. They still live in the same house. It's a sad story, actually, though, because in high school, his parents were deported. Yeah, that is kind of sad. And then uh, his brother, I think, helped pay bills, and I think he works in somewhere. I kind of came with a loner. It's a little sad. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that went. That maybe. went. Yeah. But he's really nice, though. He really is. But I think in elementary, you're just a little douchey. <laughs> so, a I mean, mo most. No matter who you are, whether you're. I'm talking about you specifically, I, not I, anybody I, else. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> anyway, I think elementary kids can be a little douchey. Oh, they can be for but sure. But he's, he's, re he's actually a really cool dude. Now that you're an adult. As an adult, and I know, like, hey, I never apologize either. <laughs> like, once we started, we're, like, adults, and, like, he kind of, like, walks by sometimes, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? I never apologize. Like, hey, sorry for uh, threatening to stab you with a fork back then. Uh, <laughs> wild times, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a little crazy, kids, huh? Man, recess was, like, a do-all, be-all thing. Like, whew, you know, that was our world. <laughs> Anyways, how was your lunchtime <laughs> in elementary? <laughs> oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's something else for sure. Yeah. You were uh, definitely a different kind of kid. Really? Than I was. Oh, yeah, what kind of kid were you? I, I didn't talk at all. You were shy or what? Yeah. I was not shy. Yeah, I I got that. I was definitely very shy and uh right. Okay, so it's oh, going to show me where I need to go to. Okay. Got to go over there. I love his walk. But no. Did you guys ever play house when you guys were kids? Um Yes, but I was never the mom, dad, or siblings, or anything. I. What were you then? I was the help. Oh, that's a little racist. That's what I was, because no one. Okay, so like, this is to tell you what like my elementary hierarchy was. And some of the girls that were cute knew they were fucking cute. I'm sorry. But it starts in elementary because there's some that like they know they're adorable and and they use it and I'm like damn, damn. 
Not to say I was innocent though. I was like, oh no, no, I, I'm not a victim. I, I, again, I was a child. At times I was and was not. I was also the perpetrator. I believe that part. But we had a playground and it was like a wooden set. And it was like really huge, it was huge. And it had this balcony of sorts. It was like held up. It was like this open square space. And it didn't have a roof and it was held up like obviously like by a foundation like wood and stuff that you can go underneath kind of like um a balcony you would have like a in the back of your house that my okay. brother has in his house okay like that and you can go underneath it and there's like ways to get up there like obviously it's not just like a tall thing anyway i i can't really describe it it's like a jungle gym? Yeah, I guess so. Like a jungle gym, but made out of wood. A lot of splinters happen on there. So, for some reason, every day would be a wedding. No, for Everyone would play. Wait, what? Yeah, every day would be a wedding. We would, people would decorate. Like, I remember getting flowers and putting them there. And I, I just wanted to be a part of it. Because, you know, when you see a big group of people having fun, you want to be a part of it. That's yeah, true. Like when you're a kid, you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. And so that's what ended up happening. And then while they were doing the wedding, I decided, like, I proclaimed, I will be the baker. And I stayed out of people's way. And I think it was like nobody wanted me up there. So I stayed underneath it and I would like pretend I'm baking. And I'm like, I'm I'm the baker. Having fun all alone. I was by myself. I was by myself as the baker. Cause like <laughs> And it was not it was you know, if I could do that again, I would not I did not have a fun time being the baker. Wow. Um that um I was not the help when we played that. <laughs> All right. At least you... Whoa. You know what? I'd rather have been the baker than the pet. Okay? Wait, what? Because there were some hey, people who would play the cat or the dog. And you know what? I'd rather be the baker than what that. If, what if What if they... Because at least I was still cat. a person. What if they offered to play the cat or dog, though? I... Dude, oh my god, there was one boy in my fifth grade class, and he would act like that, and he would squirm under the table, and like he would bark and, and pant. Oh my stars and darlings. No. It was I don't so. Know. He's not actually, surprisingly. Uh, but oh my stars. How star do you know? Because I went to school with him, and, so? and he wasn't. He really wasn't. But he definitely got, like, on my nerves a lot. Did I go the right way? Maybe? Like, people Where got, am I supposed to be going? I remember when people got my nerves in high school, I would just, like, ignore them. And I feel like people got the impression, like, oh, my God, they have a crush on them because they don't want, they don't want, they're shy. And it's like, no, I don't like this person. And I don't want to interact with them one fucking bit. I would rather avoid them if I can. I don't know where I'm going at the moment. I don't know either. <laughs> But yeah, he would he would squirm and uh, he would do that. It, it, it was just crazy. And then thinking back when he was sitting next to me in chemistry class, junior year, I was like, oh my God, this dude who's picking at me right now acted like this and he's acting like hot shit. And I could just drop the bomb. Like I could just say, hey, remember the elementary? How you were in fifth grade? But I didn't, I didn't do that. You could have ended the whole. I could have ended. Right I could ended his high school career and be like, "Hey, remember when you?" I was like that. You remember? I remember. No, for real. Don't you remember? I'm, that'd be so embarrassing. I would. How do you come back from that? Like, I, I'm pretty sure people have worse, but like this dude had another incident too. Like, with like interacting with me. Two, actually three. I can count three. With you or just with like me in, in the chemistry class and one in art class. So this was, oh, what was it? It was not senior year because I didn't take science. It, it was junior year, yeah. So I wasn't in a class with my friends, I think the second semester, and I was uncomfortable with it because I, I, 
I'm one of those people where I'm super extroverted when I'm around like a group of friends that I'm comfortable with, but when I'm on my own, I'm very to myself and quiet because I don't feel comfortable in the space. And I don't okay. feel safe. So the second semester I took it, there was a, like all the popular kids, like, you know, like they had their own cliques. Like this is okay. Everyone in this class has their own cliques and you do not fit in this. And the other person I had is my friend who's visiting Mexico right now. You know who she is, but I'm not going to say her name. And Definitely this dude who, again, I referenced back from elementary, acted like a dog everywhere, like, feel free. But the thing is, he did this during class. He wouldn't do this during recess. He did this during class. And, and that's oh. what... Yeah. What? Yeah. And... And no, he nobody was told him and anything. No, 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 the teachers. No, or everyone thought it was funny. Like, ha ha ha. Like, whoa, it's so crazy. I don't know, man. Elementary's a wild time. <laughs> so, second semester chemistry class, junior in high school. I'm like looking for a place to sit because I'm like I'm so uncomfortable. Like, I really. Did. He sits fucking next to me, and I'm like, the fuck. And he's trying to talk to me. I really don't want to talk to him. And I'm like, yeah, mm, yeah, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like I'm shrugging. I'm giving visible cues and lack of conversating, saying I don't want to fucking interact with you. I, in making facial expressions, like I really, I really don't want to talk to you. I don't, want to, you I don't want to talk to you. Like, like I say, I wear my heart on my sleeve. So you know what? If I don't like you, I'm gonna show that I don't fucking like you. And he just kept bothering me. And. Uh, I the teacher ended up like Elizabeth, why don't you come sit in this desk right next to my desk? And I was like, bitch. And I had to get my shit and go up. She was very nice. I liked her a lot. She she really helped me out in my grades. Like one of, all, one of my favorite teachers from high school. And I sat next to her desk for the rest of the semester. Like there was a desk there, and I felt just like it, it felt like oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I was like, why am I right by the teacher? This feels like I'm the teacher's pet, almost. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even smart. I'm not good at this. It's like, I don't, I don't talk to her or anything. And I, don't, I didn't do nothing. I just did my shit and just wanted to finish the class. And then another incident, you know, I'm going well. We're checking our fucking grades or something, or test. And I'm wearing an army sweatshirt because my brother is in the National Guard and gave some to my dad. I'm just wearing it just to fucking wear it. And I have a brother. Was, was that problematic <laughs> for some kids? No, well, uh, with him, it was something of interest. So I have a brother with um, Downs, right? And he was going to school, like, to our high school because, like, we have, like, a special needs class. Yes. And he's really nice. Like, all the teachers know them because, like, of the events and they help out and they stay, like, in contact with a lot of the classes really cool and he knew my brother uh, most people did like know that we were related and he had looked at my sweater and I have a, I have more of just like him as my brother and he looked at me like oh is your brother dirted up from that class like in the army oh the, oh is he in the army and I'm like dude are you, fuck are you stupid like I didn't say anything I was like no like what no. You're like, I have more than one brother. Yeah. Also, how would he be in the National Guard and still be in high school at the same time? I. He was, yeah. Well, I mean, there were kids who, like, started training for the National Guard in, like, high school. But, like, officially. Yeah, not really officially. A and he just kept, like, oh, was he? And the teacher was just, did not have it. She, like, took him out of the class yelled at him and you could hear him <laughs> from in the classroom like da -da 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 and i'm like oh my god because she this is what she did like she was like da -da -da. Uh, um, his name wasn't mark but mark go outside the classroom come with me and like just was yelling at him in the hallway like everyone could hear and i'm just standing there everyone's like sitting in their desk and i'm like what the fuck is happening? Like, why is this happening to me? What the fuck did I do? Imagine how embarrassed you were. Times like 10. That was probably how embarrassed that kid was getting yelled at. Oh, because... No, because he came in. After they were finished, I wanted to fucking laugh. 
I wanted to laugh. I was smiling and I'm like, oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Like for real? <laughs> this is, this is so embarrassing. It's funny. God? That angel don't look so Ooh. good. Hey, that looks like more of the realistic angels that they show. It's a moisturizer. And he came back just like, and Mark, what do you have to say? And he was like, I'm very sorry. And he said it with a grin, and I I had to take it. And I was like, um, I accept your apology. And, and you're like, I don't know what's going on right now. I didn't now. know what's going on. I, I was embarrassed because one, it's like, I, I don't like drawing attention when I don't want it. Nobody does. And I wanted to bust out fucking laughing because it was so funny to me. And he got yelled at over a fucking sweater. <laughs> and it was just the fact it was him. And and it's just like the situation. And I was like, uh, I accept your apology. And I was just so mortified. I believe you. Uh, we should uh, probably yeah. pause it here. So... You know, uh, <laughs> Goodbye, even everybody. when you think you're minding your business, you're not. <laughs>